to show you how we can use drop down list in angular js application so what i have done is have created a basic application over here i have got a controllers.js file where i am passing name in the scope and getting that value over here also like uh, i have created index.html file where i am parsing my view so let's start with our controller over here what i will do is i will create a array let's say country list which i will use to display in display in drop down list so i am saying india usa australia also i will use a model to select my default country to be uh, let's say usa so i am saying scope dot country list over here i want to select this to be the first one So once I have created this country list array, what I can do in my index.html file is I will go and create a tag for select. So I am just going to provide some class uh, classes. So I have created a form group. After that, I am going to create a select name is equal to country id is also going to be country over here i will the first option which i will show you is using ng options so over here i will say c for c in country list So what I'm trying to say over here is this is my array. So C is going to be my variable and I'm just passing it the variable name. So this is the basic configuration which I need. Also, I need to create a ng model with selected country. as my variable name so that I can populate the default values so once I have done this then I can go to my browser and refresh it so over here what we are seeing is like it is coming as empty so let's try to investigate what exactly is the problem okay so the page was not properly loaded so once the page has been properly loaded after doing a hard refresh i can see that usa has been selected so just to make this a little prettier what i will do is i will assign a class of form control over here and i will do a hard refresh over here we can use control f5 for doing hard refresh so once I have done the hard refresh, I can see that USA is selected. I have got my drop downs populated. So there is one more approach that we can use for using select in AngularJS. So I will use ng repeat for that purpose. So what I am going to do over here is I am going to say select class is going to be a form control I will provide a name of country 1 ID 
is equal to country one over here I will say ng model is going to be my selected country so uh, inside that what I will do is I will create a option tag and use my ng repeat directive and say in country list value what I am going to pass over here is going to be my ID or uh, it will be default generated what I am going to say over here is C is going to be populated so once I do a hard refresh I am able to see that my second drop down list is also populated with some values so thanks for watching the video have a great day